I knew I was gonna love Peaky Blinders series one as soon as it started when Red Right Hand starts as the opening theme tune and I was like, I'm sold, I'm in, this is great, I'm captivated. You know, Red Right Hand always makes me think of Scream, but now I will always just think of Peaky Blinders because the music, the Red Right Hand music is just perfect. It matches 1919 Birmingham, it, just the industrial sounds that you'd imagined in Birmingham at that time. And Red Right Hand just have this very industrial feel. So it all just clicks together nicely. And I love the soundtrack. It's just fantastic to have this contemporary soundtrack against 1919. And I feel like it gives this fresh feel to the show with a period drama look. And it's just refreshing, you know, obviously it's not new. We've seen this before. We've seen old style with new music, but it just works with Peaky Blinders. It really does have this nice touch for it. And I think in terms of like the period drama look, the cinematography is fantastic. I just go as far as saying that it really is amazing like you're in awe of it just it's like it's so pretty <laughs> like the direction is wonderful as well so the two really do just make this fantastic show it's really it's dark it's gritty and I always I kind of say like it does remind me a lot of David Fincher it kind of has that feel to it so if you're a David Finch fan you know watch this film for the cinematography this film this tv show <laughs> for the cinematography it really does have a, a matching feel to it. It's really nice to watch a show that's a change from the London accent, the London scenery. It's really refreshing to be set in Birmingham. You've got these brummy accents, which is just fabulous because I love that accent so much. Though the only thing I would say is I do think they're very light, uh, very light brummy accents. Uh, I can't imagine that they would have been that light. I think it would have been full on brummy. <laughs> if that even makes sense. Full on. I'd say that back then they'd been 90% brummy. <laughs> I think you get what I mean. It's very light and I think the only reason I think that they probably did this is for like international viewers, like they wanted to get an American audience in. in. So if they'd have spoke full on brummy, <laughs> We would have been in trouble. No, I think it, it, yeah, I personally think that they could have gone a bit further with the accents, but of course they want people of everywhere to be able to watch this show and understand without having to put subtitles up like they had to do with train spotting. So Cillian Murphy is playing Tommy, who is our lead in the TV show, and basically they have all just come back from war and they're, they're feeling it, they're broken men. You know, it really does show that in in this TV show that they, they've they been affected badly by the, you know, the First World War. It was tough for them. And of course it's gonna be tough for them. I made that sound really surprising. It was so tough for them going to war. <laughs> so, I didn't mean that to sound like that. It was, you know, incredibly tough for them um, physically and um, mostly mentally. And they show that perfectly in this film. In, why do I keep saying film? It's a TV show. I think it does, the reason why I keep saying film is I think because it does actually have that feel to it. It's just so good, so slick, it, you know, it could, it could be a film. Uh, so Cillian Murphy, I think, is fantastic in this show. He's very subdued and he doesn't sort of do, you know, the crazy eyes that he usually does in some of the films that he's in. So it's really refreshing to watch Murphy sort of bring it all in, you know, it's really nice to see that. And then Sam Neill is playing a uh, copper, basically after Tommy. And uh, I'd say this is probably one of my favorite roles in a TV show that he's been in. He um, is very engaging, he's a nasty piece of work, and I guarantee you the Irish accent will grow on you. <laughs> it's a little bit jarring at first, but then you get there. Helen McCrory is basically part of the family of, uh, you know, Tommy, and she, is beautiful 
and I think she's fantastic in this show. She, um, as a woman myself, obviously makes the show a lot more engaging Like, because she's a very interesting character because she's playing this strong woman, but she also is a broken woman herself. You know, she looked after the business while the men were gone at war and then they came back and took it. And so it's sort of like her finding her feet of where she stands in the family. And then there's also all this other stuff that's going on, which I'm not gonna say because watch the show. So yeah, I think she really just displays just this strong woman on the outside, but inside she's just having a mental breakdown. So yeah, she's just the perfect choice for this role. The show is violent, but it's very stylistic. Like I'm not one for violence, but this show really makes me just go, okay. <laughs> bring it on you know like these are guys that have blades in their caps you know they fight with their caps like <laughs> that's crazy it's full of really powerful scenes like really fantastic scenes there is a moment in this show where this may be a spoiler so if you don't want it spoiled shut your ears off now i'll give you a thumbs up when it's okay to listen again but there's a kid and a bomb, and this kid aspires to be like his brother Tommy, Celine Murphy, and it's a really powerful scene in which uh, they manage to get away from this bomb, and the kid is okay, and Tommy just grabs him and is like, that's why you should not pretend to be me, and you just sort of go, oh gosh. <laughs> You know, it really hits you hard and it had me in tears. I was just like, wow, it's like such a powerful scene. And they have all these wonderful, powerful scenes throughout the whole, uh, you know, TV show. So it's okay to carry on listening, no more spoilers. So yeah, I think what's fantastic about this show is yes, these are criminals but you really do feel for them. You really do want them to succeed in becoming legit businessmen. And that's what makes Peaky Blinders so great is you're not rooting for criminals, you're rooting for men just wanting to get their lives back on track after the war. And this is all done in six episodes and fantastic. You know, it's enough to get you gripped and it's, you know, not that many, so you don't get tired of it. It's just the perfect set. You know, you can do it all in one day if you wish and get on it, I'd say, because it's a great show. <laughs>